Here we are hanging out with John Marco Cerezzi at Haddon's Comedy Club. We're going to do our famous Flash 5 segment and just ask him a few different questions and learn a little bit more about him. First and foremost, what is your funniest story about entering Canada? Now, you've been over here a few times. Do you have a funny border story for us? Luckily, it's, it's all been smooth. I recently went from Toronto to America and we, we threw away all the, the, the gummies and then they just were like, hey, what are we here for a comedy? Go on through. We're like, no! I, it's so easy sometimes, but I'm a good boy, so I always behave. Now, being from New York and so forth, what's your oddest, weirdest subway story you can share with us? Um, there's there's a, a comedian, there's a, there's a homeless comedian on the subway. He, he calls himself Homeless Earl. I don't think that's his real name. Uh, if it is, his parents were very accurate because he's a, he's a homeless stand up comedian, and I like him. But one time he had like a heckler who was just screaming at him, and I started screaming at the heckler. Homeless Earl left the train, and the heckler ended up chasing me down onto another train, and I got punched in the face. I guess it's not my favorite story, but it's my favorite to tell. Now, being yourself, you've got a multi talented background, you're into acting and, and such. What is your favorite movie and why? Oh, uh, the one that comes to mind is just Black Swan, because I think it's just like the artist movie where she, like, she's. I think she just stabbed herself and she's like, it's my turn now. And that's pretty much how I wake up every morning, just saying to myself in a mirror, it's my turn now, <laughs> through tears. Now I realize there's a big debate a lot between New York and Chicago as far as pizza. Sure. What's, what's better, New York or well, Chicago? Well, since it's on camera, I have to say New York. Because New Yorkers, it doesn't matter what you think, it has to be New York. But I do like New York. Chicago's cool, it's funky. Once a year, it's nice to have a little deviation, but New York, for sure. <laughs> Now, for tourists that are coming to New York, what's the biggest misconception or kind of thing that you kind of come across from people that are visiting New York, maybe for the first time, or what your thoughts are? There's this mix. Well, there's, a, there's this idea that New Yorkers are mean. New Yorkers can be very helpful if you need help. But you just have to be able to recognize when someone's like on the way to work and when someone can help you. But like, if there's ever a crisis, like if your luggage gets stuck in the MTA turnstile, New Yorkers will go and help you. When people fall into the tracks, New Yorkers will go and save them. But if you're walking too slowly, you need to go faster. So it's that. Anything else you want to mention about your visits to Canada that uh, you want to share with us? I mean, I've been very lucky. I, I, I hadn't been to Canada. I saw Lord of the Rings, the musical, a decade ago. It was terrible. But I've been to Toronto in the last four weeks, and then this now. I love Canada. I walk around knowing if I get injured, I, there will be a doctor who will see me, and that is, that is a luxury. And uh, I love it. And the audiences here, people have always said that Canadian audiences are, are great. Um, and I know it's a stereotype, but just that it's just politer here. But every show I've done here has been very pleasant. Um, and I, I just hope to be back.